Hi Capricorn, how is everybody doing? Before we get into this, I would like to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated, and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. Okay, Capricorn. I'm getting that we are moving on to the next step of something. I'm also hearing unknown territory. Interesting. Like you may be putting pieces together. It's almost like I'm I'm seeing kind of like these different fragments of colors that are that you're like pulling together more cohesively. This can be ideas, something like that. <clears throat> Are we feeling off-put, confused by somebody's behavior? I'm hearing confidently confused. I wonder what this is about. I'm almost getting this, like we may be going through some sort of phase of discernment right now where you're trying to like pick out who you feel like is appropriate to be on your journey with you right now. Again, I'm getting something about discernment. It's almost like picking and choosing who you want to be part of this next chapter of your life. I'm hearing resorting to intuition. You may be using your intuition to, to be trying to figure this out. Somebody, there could have been something that happened. This can be with a friend. This can also be with somebody that you were seeing, like more romantically. Nonetheless, this has to do with an interpersonal relationship. I'm seeing that we feel disappointed by somebody's behavior here. Like, maybe you thought that somebody was more committed than their behavior ended up showing them to be. Like, maybe you found something out. Maybe you also feel like somebody presented in a certain way, but then their behavior did not align with what they had communicated with you, something like that. It's like feeling confused about this person's behavior here. Feeling confused about what you feel as well. Like you may be feeling a lot of different things in relation to this. I'm also hearing love loss. Like you may have really cared for this person and that's why you feel so disappointed because it's almost like you had like a depth of emotions for this person and I'm seeing them really let you down with something here. Again, I'm, I keep hearing the word committed, so maybe you felt like you were in a very committed energy towards this person, and that's not what their behavior um, showed them to be in the place of, I'm hearing. I'm hearing Cancer Capricorn. Interesting. Yeah, it was almost like you were looking for stability in something that was unstable, maybe even something that was rushed into. Because I'm seeing there almost be like this dichotomy because when when you look at the, um, the Knight of Wands, this is about like rushing into things. It can be about like overcompensating, overconfidence. It can be like somebody that's not serious on an emotional level. Like somebody that is really seeking physical pleasures, instant gratification, things like that. And I'm seeing that tied, um, tied to the Ten of Pentacles, which speaks about stability, security. So it's like, are those things going to come together? And maybe we're realizing that this person that we had been around is actually not going to equate to the stability we've been looking for, the security we've been looking for. And now we feel confused about our feelings towards this person. 
and maybe you thought that like there was potential for there to be um like a larger connection with this person than it turned out to be and i'm getting that this is based off of the way that this person acted with you but i'm seeing you're very committed to the journey here capricorn and I'm seeing your spirit guides come through and help you. It's like they're giving you intuitive nudges, messages to help you figure out this situation here. And maybe you're also mastering a sense of intuition here in a way where it's leading you towards goals that you have. Mm hmm. I'm also hearing building the life that you want, Capricorn. Yeah, and you're being guided to, it's almost like intuitively you know something and you're being guided to bring justice to a situation. Like maybe even to communicate something with this person. But it's almost like I'm seeing it be like justice would be for you to walk away from whatever this is and it's like whatever disappointment you had felt based off of the interaction that you had with this person or this situation it's like this is going to be balanced out as you continue moving forward it's like you're going to find something that will compensate for the disappointment that you were feeling and i'm seeing you moving towards very pure love here maybe you're also focusing on gifts and abilities it's like going through a whole transformation in relation to your self-love and the way that you love those around you and maybe you're also going through a transformation in relation to your gifts and abilities and the ways that you want to express them as well i'm looking at aries i'm looking at libra and i'm looking at scorpio here yeah you focusing on the things that are important to you are going to help you out and it's going to also manage a sense of confusion that you've been feeling too. I'm hearing about what you want to prioritize, Capricorn. Somebody may be coming through and helping you out as well. Somebody that um, somebody that you're going to be working with, I'm getting. It's like I'm seeing you collaborating with this person, exchanging energy. I'm hearing having a conversation. You could even be like collaborating with your guides here as well. I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing some sort of collaboration coming to light. And you are like intuitively psychically connected with whoever this person is or these spirit guides that are coming through for you. This person that's coming through may also be helping you to like recognize your own energy, the ways that you want to express yourself, what you're capable of. And I'm seeing you planting seeds here to step into a place where you're stepping into power. It's like you're taking control. I'm hearing running the show. Maybe you want to be directing something creatively or you're stepping into some sort of leading role. This is related to your gifts and your abilities. I'm hearing true in nature. It's like something that you're capable of that you're going to be expressing. Because I'm seeing you stepping into a creative role here. I'm hearing performing performance. Something that you want to do because there's something about you intrinsically that you're realizing. Maybe that you want to be expressing outwardly. And that you can take control of this and make something happen with it. I'm seeing it almost as well be like when you realize something innately within you and that you have some sort of like ability or gift here. It's almost like you're going through this awakening and you're realizing like what you can do with that. And using that as motivation to make something happen like creatively. So I'm looking at... Aries here I'm looking at 
I'm hearing Virgo very strongly. I'm looking at Libra, I'm looking at Scorpio, and I'm looking at Leo here. Very cool, Capricorn. <coughs> I'm seeing you working really hard on something here. You look very, very focused to me. I'm hearing both feet on the ground. Like, I'm seeing you very groundedly focusing on something. It's like studying on something, working on something here. Studying something, working on something. This can be shadow work that we're doing. It's like I'm seeing you in your head with something. It's almost like... I'm seeing this kind of be a relationship between you and yourself here. And it's like you're working on bringing light to maybe the ways that you've held yourself back or talked yourself out of things to the point of like really trapping yourself in your head and being like, I can't do anything about this. And it's almost like in recognizing your efficacy, you're no longer taking these offers from your shadow. And it's like you're doing something about the things that you want to pursue and maybe there was even a point in time where it was like you were interested in certain things and you may have held yourself back from those things. And it's like, I'm not taking offers anymore from my shadow when it's not encouraging me to do things that I feel drawn to and the things that I want to explore. I'm getting that sort of notion here for you, Capricorn. It's like really deciding that you're going to be empowering yourself ultimately. And this is too also recognizing that whether these are your own thoughts or like exchanges that you've had with those around you, it's like no longer participating in things that don't feel empowering to you. And maybe this is also what we're discerning too, like what we want to be involved in, what we want to allow into our energetic field. Yeah, I'm, I'm for sure seeing that there's something that we are feeling guided into to be studying because I'm looking at Taurus energy here, which also represents the ninth house, which is Sagittarius. And this is about higher learning, philosophies, expansion, can be about travel as well. Where you want to take things, what you want to be learning about. And I'm seeing you moving away from this energy again, whether this is part of your shadow or it's somebody around you that you don't feel is supportive of you. And Spirit is helping guide you. I'm hearing into a new mission. I'm hearing the power is in recognizing what we feel afraid of and moving forward. It's like recognizing what you feel scared of or what has you feeling anxious or what has you feeling tied down and deciding nonetheless to pursue whatever this new thing is that you want to be exploring here. And not letting the fear space hold you back. Because you know if it's something you're being guided into, even if you don't know where it's going to lead. Because I'm seeing this be like a very new journey that we're on. It's like, you know that the universe has got your back here. So you know that things are going to pan out, pay off for you because you're exploring something that you feel guided into. Working on something that you feel guided into. <clears throat> For some, this can even be like some sort of mission or project that you feel guided to be exploring right now, to be working on. I'm hearing in alignment with the mission. Interesting. But you know that there's a lot of, a lot of work that's going to come with this. But I'm seeing you, like, Spirit knows that you're capable of doing this. Because I'm seeing, like, an energy of a very hard worker here, Capricorn. Like, somebody that's ready to get down and do what they need to. And also, 
like finding some sort of stable support system may be important for us as well. Even if that means addressing something with our shadow too and supporting ourselves. Yeah, and I'm seeing us stepping into a place like you may feel a bit weary of where spirit is guiding you because you feel like there's a lot of responsibility tied into this like job role that you're stepping into, like something you're pursuing in the 3D. But I'm seeing you, again, being very capable of doing whatever this is. It's like I'm seeing it be like a very big, important role that you're stepping into here. And maybe you feel like this is something you've been destined for for a very, very long time. It's almost like that feeling of you were born to do this, to step into this. Don't let, don't let the past hold you back. I'm getting something like that. I'm also hearing past failures as well, like the fear of failing. Don't allow that to hold you back. I'm seeing a soul contract that's coming to fruition for you, Capricorn. You're also being guided not to take offers, whether this is energetic or something physically manifesting. Don't take any offers that don't allow you to feel empowered or compensated for what you're doing here. It's like making sure you're being compensated for the work, time, and energy that you're putting in. Because you're going to be making things come to fruition. And I'm seeing that part of this is a soul contract for you. I'm seeing, <clears throat> I'm seeing Taurus and I'm seeing Uranus energy here. And the house of Taurus can speak on our um, financial stability, security, things like that. And with Uranus, this is about expanding and exploring. It's the notion of ingenuity. And maybe we're also exploring, I'm looking at the king of pentacles here. This can be something that we're going to step into that's actually going to be, um, I'm here procuring funds. So like a way that you're making money here, going to be making money based off of this thing that you're pursuing. And it's like something really, something really amazing is going to come to fruition. You just have to keep working on whatever this is that you're feeling guided into, even though it may feel stressful at times. It's like I'm seeing spirit like right along there with you, supporting you. And I'm seeing this be the fulfillment of one of your soul contracts, Capricorn. Very interesting. And this is all piggybacking on you taking a leap of faith with whatever this is. Again, you may not know exactly where this is going to lead you, but I'm seeing like as long as you surrender and trust, you're going to continue being led, I'm hearing, in the right direction. Like where you are meant to be going. And I'm hearing when you hit a wall, pivot. Interesting. All right, Capricorn, we are going to end it there. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing. And I hope to catch you guys next time.